All right, so I've set up this camera and this is the part one of my packing video. So I'm going to show you guys what I pack. At least uh, I wouldn't say I am the best packer there is, but uh, 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 definitely we can learn from each other, right? And so I'm going to tell you what I packed. First part, clothing, which is important. And three secret weapons that I always bring to... So number one, most important weapon of them all, garbage bags. These ones, like large garbage bags. Why are these important? Why are they important? Because A, these are waterproof. So you could get one, line up the inside of your bag put it in there, line up the inside of your bag and voila, your bag is now waterproof all your clothing will now be dry forever or until you break one so you can get one for dry clothing and once your clothing are dirty or muddy or whatnot get one for dirty clothing so you separate your dirty from the draw uh, from the clean. Amazing, huh? So other uses. Uh, you could, if it's raining, convert this garbage bag into a rain suit or whatever it's called. Yeah, raincoat. Yeah, raincoat. Those are raincoats. Uh, raincoats and. Already cover up your bag to make it waterproof. Even this one time, uh, I dug a hole and covered up my bag and put leaves on top of it, and to avoid paying eighty bucks for storage fee, that works too. So, multiple uses of this amazing bag. Or if you get lost in the jungle, you could uh, set it up like this prop it up and put a rock in the middle of it It'll collect rainwater so you could drink survival man style all right amazing garbage bag secret weapon number one okay this is my bag this is my backpack it is actually older than I am I'm not kidding you this is actually older than I am my dad used it when he was a kid. It is very, very durable. Like, literally. And the brand is Rhino. I don't know if they still make bags, but they certainly make good bags. Or backpacks, as a matter of fact. Um, these sides are adjustable. I don't think that you can remove them, but they're definitely adjustable. So, one over here to put your miscellaneous or stuff like uh, medicine or uh, toiletry that is easily accessible. This side as well for camera, uh, water bottles and whatnot. This one in the front for other stuff. Inside, it's fairly standard. I actually sew, I actually sew an extra pouch over here so you can put your uh, important stuff like money, passport, stuff that you don't want to go missing. And here's another compartment over here. You could put your stuff like notepads or whatnot, notepad, pants, and anything you want, easy access, or hat. So. What do we bring? What do we bring? Clothing, clothing wise. Ugh. I'm wearing a sweater right now. A hoodie sweater. And sweatpants. 
These are very comfortable in countries like Canada and North America. But do we bring it on the road? I don't think so. Well, I don't think I will anyways. They're very comfortable, but uh, China is very hot. So sweaters, sweatpants, hoodies, and stuff like that might look good, eh, but you will sweat yourself. Uh, so these are shorts, really good ones. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of product placement, and I hope they do actually give me money for it. <laughs> but this is from Colombia, and not the country Colombia, but uh, the company Colombia Sportswear. And these are really good, durable, and uh, I expect wear and tear if I'm climbing up a mountain, and uh, this is going to be good. Jeans! Jeans are really good. Why they're really good? Why not cargo pants? Because if you have cargo pants, you could go places and they're very durable. I'm not saying cargo pants are bad, but if you want to go to a, a fairly high-end restaurant, they're not going to let you enter with cargo pants. You could probably slide with jeans, and jeans look kind of respectable. So, like, if you want to go to a high-end, relatively high-end places, and you don't have a suit, jeans will get you in. Kind of. But not cargo pants. So jeans serve both as cargo pants and dress pants. So I'm going to bring jeans and shorts. Jeans I'll be wearing on the plane flying over and shorts I will put it in packing and that will actually be enough if I'm, my jeans get dirty which is not often I'll wear shorts and wash my jeans and vice versa uh, now this is a jacket windbreaker by Marmot, which is the amazing company. I actually wore this three years ago when I went to China, and it's actually really good. This is really, really light. I could row it up, and it would cost no space, literally no space, like nothing, nothing, nothing. I could row it up and put it in my like cup or something. And this is waterproof and windproof, so like it's airtight, air sealed. And normally I would not wear it, uh, but sometimes it get really cold at night. Like, you know, in Beijing, it's hot in the days and cold at night. Or in places like Tibet or Xinjiang, it's get, it gets cold. Like, Asia is usually hot, but you need this just in case, right? Just in case in those cold, cold days. And it's, it's rainy and you're stuck in the forest and you're without options. So, another thing, shirts, this may look like a respectable dress shirt, but it is a lot more than that, it is not expensive, like this jean here, jeans, some jeans cost you like 90 bucks, 70 bucks, this cost me 30 bucks, and it's really really good, this cost me, I don't know, 10, 15 dollars, and it's got a button here on the sleeve so you can roll up your sleeve and it will be a shirt and you could it could both be a dress shirt or just a shirt and it's light and it's black it's I don't I don't wear anything flashy so I try to be inconspe inconspicuous this is a another shirt I'll be wearing I'll be wearing over there I bought this in China three years ago and so it's only appropriate to bring it back. It's actually very durable. It's green. It's one of those army color shirts. It's very rough and could endure a lot of punishment. So two shirt, one long sleeve, one short sleeve. Also, I'm gonna bring a t-shirt, one of the anthropology t-shirt that you might have already seen. So three shirt, one shirt, uh, one shorts. One pants, 
that that's it and one jacket that's that's pretty much it uh anything else clothing wise let's see underwears of course you gotta bring fresh underwears like your mama would say you gotta change your underwears and i don't know about so I'm, so I'm thinking like two underwears, uh, two pair of socks, two pair of uh, underwears, and uh, I don't know about hats. Headwears, headgears are really up to you, so don't bring anything crazy like toques or big fur coat hats, whatever it's called. Uh, no, it's really up to you if you want to bring hats. So this is a old blanket. I'm going to bring it's old ancient so if it gets really dirty and torn up I'm not gonna get sad over it it's not my like old blankie that I carry around and I'll just throw it if it's gone if it's so roll it up tight like this very nicely put it on top of your bag I'll show you later once I finish packing and um, this will actually help a lot like I brought one last time I went to China and it actually helped a lot I got lost in the forest a couple of times and this, this is a lifesaver uh, what else oh an extra bag an extra uh, smaller bag that you, you don't always want to carry your uh, large backpack when you're walking in the city like this is for traveling and once you settle down in the hostel, you want to uh, go around and see the city. Bags like this. I bought this in Tibet. Uh, I remember it's uh, 30 yuan or something. So, small bags like this or this, you know, nice Chinese themed bag like this. That says, uh, serve the people or that but i don't think i'll be bringing this uh, this is too cliche i'll probably bring this all right also don't forget uh you know if you bring jeans you bring belts right uh belt bring a belt uh i think that's that's about it nothing else you don't need to bring anything special like swim trunks or or not if you really need these things when you're traveling you could buy them local like the the best idea the best idea you should have like I know you like your things you know the things that you know and comfortable but bring stuff that you have but don't bring too many if you need anything extra buy local because I'm sure they have these things locally otherwise how they're gonna live right so that's that's it for the first part. I will do other parts later.